the thing to think about is, well, I mean, there's a number of things to think about, but in terms of how to call this a success, it's weird with software because for some apps that I've written, it's a success because I just use it all the time, right? It becomes a daily part of my workflow. It kind of blends into the background of tools that make my life better. Software engineering is interesting because it scales incredibly well for incredibly little amounts of work after the initial work. And actually that's not true because as more and more people discover your project, for example, I had someone discord me about a GPT-3 plugin that I built for Obsidian and they reached out to me and they were saying, hey, how can I use this? And I wanted to make the app production app. But the problem is that when you make an app a production app, people want things. They want features and they want bugs to be fixed. They want certain things to work in a certain manner. Uh, and as a maintainer, especially for a project that's open source, being able to provide that level of support isn't really always reasonable. So sometimes I like to just keep projects to myself. Uh, but I think my hypothesis at least is that this stream could be a good vehicle to A, talk out loud some of the things that I do when I build these types of projects, but B, serve as a springboard for other people to start projects that are in a similar vein, and C, if there's enough interest or intrigue, maybe consider building it into a full application. Because project scopes grow very quickly when other people get involved, uh, even for just a simple function. You know, you might have a simple functor of sum of A plus B equals C, right? The, the simplest function ever. But the second that there's a, you know, so you'll use it to be adding, you'll be using it, for example, to add apples. So you'll have two apples and four apples and it'll work 100% of the time. And you're like, wow, this code is great. I'm going to show my cousin. So you give it to your cousin and your cousin's like, hey, it comes back to you like a few days later. It worked really well when I tried to add apples together, but then I tried to add, you know, a, a negative amount of apples because, you know, our other cousin ate four of them. So I had to subtract four and it broke. So then you have to go back in and deal with those cases or that case. And then you give it to somebody else or they, they, they give it to somebody else and they're like, Hey, here's a, a function that allows you to add apples. And then they try to add fractions of apples and it breaks again. So now all of a sudden you have three cases on your one case application that you built to solve one problem. And then, right. It just could, it could keep going for infinity. People can start adding different types. What happens if somebody's like, Oh, I wanted to say that I want to append the word apples on the end and stuff like that. Software engineering is a lot like an art where you really have to be picky about the colors and paints and the items that you use because they make a huge impact on the final product and being able to understand when enough is enough for what you're trying to build, I think is just hypercritical and not really well addressed uh, in the development community because it's not really something that you actively think about until you're forced to think about it through other engaged actors act asking you to add certain things to your application.